Alright guys, so here we have the L Strike uh, high grade. And yeah, I love this. I love this little thing. It's so stylish and slick. And uh, yeah, you can get a lot of angles with this Gundam. And I freaking love it. Alright, so first, uh, let's talk about the weapons. Really, uh, this is all you, re all you really need to know is that the rifle, uh, you have to take out the uh, top part of the hand and plug it in and uh, then put back the hand and that's what clips it in and uh, so to remove it you you know take off the white part and then uh, remove the bean rifle and that's it. So the shield, there's a little hole in the back um, and you just plug it right in. There's two prongs on this thing, which I don't, I don't really know what the outside one is for. Um, this thing can rotate 360 and has a little hinge to move up and down, which is cool. The all right, so the shield, um, yeah. There's only one sticker on it, which is the white part that goes across the top. Which is weird. I don't know why it just isn't white in general, but whatever. That's fine. Um, Alright, so here is a profile view. As you can see, it's it can be a bit back heavy. You can see how far back the legs are compared to the body. Um, this thing up here can rotate just a little bit. This uh, The boosters back here can go out this far to the right, this far to the left. That far up and that far down. And uh, when you take this off, you gotta be careful because sometimes it likes to stick into the back. So sometimes you'll just have to, you know, be sure to remove the, the piece that plugs in and just put it back onto the backpack. So the wings, they go this far up and this far down pretty cool pretty cool uh, the wings uh, these are the only stickers the top part of the wings and the uh, bottom part of the wings are the only stickers for the backpack so if you like you know that's that's fine I wish it came in plastic red instead of using stickers but it's no big deal here's the Gundam all Nikki without his backpack Oh, speaking of, so the arm, <clears throat> so the arm can rotate 360 as usual. You got your double bend in the elbow. Very nice, very nice. What else? Uh, yeah, you got your rotations. And uh, be careful with the head. The uh, red part of the uh, V fin gave me the hardest time it would not stick in. Here is the stomach bends back and forth that much uh, the body can rotate basically all the way around so that's no big deal so here is the back of the Gundam uh, yeah the jet the, the back boosters will have to be painted so here's the Gundam Nike again no panel lines Uh, let's plug this, plugging this back in. So this Gundam comes with the beam rifle, two beam savers, and the two armor Schneiders, the knives, which you can't really store anywhere um, on the Gundam itself. So they're just gonna have to be separate. What you can do though is uh, this is how much he can bend to grab a beam saver without uh, his hand popping out. Beam Simber just slides right into his hand right there. Got some cool poses. You can see it's very flexible. Alright, so here is the leg rotations. And 
posability. Got your double bends in the knee. It can go about that high. That far out. The ankle is very impressive. I can almost break your ankles with that shit in real life. But yeah, dude. My dudes. Uh, this kit itself is very impressive. The plausibility on this kit is amazing. Um, I just like the proportions. They're slick. And it's a kit that you like. You actually find yourself playing around with. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I see why the Build Fighters uh, series took this kit and modified it. Because this kit itself is actually like very customizable in terms of flexibility and uh, style. A fine addition to the collection. Alright, well thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.